Last year, my sister Candace introduced me to dyeing Easter eggs naturally. You know, Mother Earth provides us with the most incredibly yummy, organic, natural colors. And it's really easy to dye your Easter eggs with your veggies and herbs that have those really rich colors and juices. So I'm going to head on into the kitchen and you can take a look at some of the Easter eggs that I dyed with natural dyes. I'll see you in the kitchen. Let's make some natural Easter egg dyes. Here's what you'll need. Water, and it takes about two cups per pot. And you want to bring that water to a boil. Head on out to the garden. Here's some great selections. A beet is perfect. Lots of really rich color. Some leafy greens like spinach, red cabbage leaves, and onion skins. All of these make beautiful natural dyes. You can also use herbs. This is turmeric and alkanet. All you need to do is start adding these into the water. So here's my red cabbage leaves. And this is great because these are usually the leaves that you toss away that you don't use in your salads. So bring this to a boil and then turn it down to simmer. Let this simmer for about 15 minutes. When you're working with turmeric, be really careful because it's really strong dye color. This is all natural, but it's very, very strong. So be sure that you protect your sink, any clothing that you're wearing. You're going to get a great color from the turmeric. The alkanet is a beautiful natural red dye. So I'm going to bring all of these back to a boil and let them simmer for 15 minutes. Now that my veggies have been simmering on the stove for 15 minutes, I've removed the pot from the stove and let's take these out. This is the red cabbage leaves. Take the big pieces out of the water. And I want to strain this into my bowl. And as you can see, my red cabbage leaves make a beautiful blue dye. I'm going to let this set to cool to room temperature. I have cooked all of my veggie dyes and I have strained them and let them sit to room temperature. So now we get to start decorating our eggs. I just grabbed some easy embellishments that I found in my kitchen drawer, which first of all, it's the little reinforcement, self-adhesive reinforcement circles. Those you can just stick right onto your eggs. You do want to be sure that your egg is very dry so that these will stick. And I did find that I like to take and run my fingernail along the edge of all of these so that it presses down. Then you'll get a nicer pattern off these little reinforcement circles. Another way to add some interesting design to your egg is to use your kitchen string. And you just start wrapping it around. And you keep going around and around until you have the pattern that you would like on your egg. And then I just slipped the end of the string back 
to the last round, and that holds the end. So the different colors I want to share with you that I have here, this is the red cabbage. That turns out blue. This is beets. This is the turmeric, which I mentioned you need to be really, really careful with because if you drop it on your kitchen counter, it will stain. And I can attest to that because I did that already with this batch. So be very careful with your turmeric if you do use that for your yellow dye. The brown onion skins make a beautiful orange. And this is the alkanet, which I actually thought would turn out a lot more red than it did, but it has a real pretty color to it that I'll show you a close-up in just a moment. This is blueberries. And this is spinach. And I definitely could have used a lot more spinach leaves to make this a lot greener. So this is going to be a very pale color also. Let's see if I have any of these baths open. Let me take this one out so I can drop my new egg in. I have found that it takes several hours. You want to let these set in the natural dye baths for several hours in order to get some of these stronger colors. And these are the little reinforcements that I put on. And these held really nicely. Creates a nice pattern on this. So very simple. Let me just grab a paper towel and dab it off. Pretty cool. This was the egg that I put into the blueberry bath. Actually, I did yellow first. So when I pull these off, I should see a hint of yellow underneath these. So put it into the turmeric dye bath first, then dried it off completely, put the little reinforcements down so that it held the yellow color underneath. Super fun, super easy, and it's so great to learn how to use your vegetables and herbs for the natural colors. You just keep working at that to take off all of those reinforcements to reveal your pattern. Let's take a look here at the onion skin. As I mentioned, it's a beautiful orange. I'm going to let that drain off just a little bit and put my next egg in. And let's see what we have here. This should be just a very subtle effect. Definitely when you're cooking all of your vegetables and herbs, use lots of them in the pan so you get as deep of a color as you can. Super cool. Let's just wipe this off a little bit. I noticed when I started pulling some of the string off that some of that color actually wipes back. And that gives you another pattern from the paper towel. I love that effect. So once again, this is the onion skin. And this is the blueberries. That's kind of a combination of everything. We have some really rich, deep colors here, and this took just a couple of hours of these eggs sitting in the dye bath. Keep in mind that you can eat these hard-boiled eggs, but in some instances, the eggs may pick up the actual flavor of the herb. 
So you may have your hard-boiled eggs that taste a little bit like turmeric. You can see this was the spinach, and I don't really have much color on that, so we're going to put that into another bath. This is the red cabbage. That's just starting out to be a really soft blue, so I'm going to let that set for quite a bit longer. Here's the turmeric. Ooh, nice bright yellow. And I put those little reinforcements on this also. Have some fun. Dig in to your veggie bin in your refrigerator and color up some fun Easter eggs for your Easter celebration.